right? It's yeah. still trying to do that that weird context that we lied to Visual Studio on. So okay. let's wire up some of these other ones with the methods that we built. Sure. Okay. Right. So do you want me to do that? Do you want? Uh, I, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing that that folks really think is interesting. Let's to each take one and do it at the same time. Why? So folks see you editing. Why don't do you want to take details and I'll take edit? I'll take details. You take edit. Sounds right. good. So here's All what right. I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to set this up in a new vertical group over here, and you should be able to see John working in detail CSHTML, and he's going to swap out that application DB context and use an IAPI client here on the left side, while I'm working on the right side in edit model. Oh my gosh. All right. So I need to unpin you because I'm getting all confused. And then if I look, so we already did index. Yep. We had for index, we had that IAPI client. So I'm going to pull that in as well. Mm -hmm. And so if I go to my details, I'm going to change this on out. Boop. And right now this is right this is the epitome of pair programming i mean literally two people at the same time on the same screen perfect all right yeah, yeah julie is saying that two people coding on two different machines in the same code base yeah right so that iapi client yeah this is fun okay think about mob programming like this now it's weird. Okay. Oh, wait, you're so, an index model. That should be details model over there. Yeah. Well, I was just comparing what was what was going on over there. Okay. So I I am I'm matching up to we had we were getting an I list of trip and this trip is of so we've got UI data and UI services. So we'll make sure we've got those over here. Oh, yes. folks are folks are thinking this is really cool in the chat room. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. So now for my trip, so that's all good, so trip, so. Right, there we go. And then for my post, so you're going and let me scroll that a little bit so I can see that. A little bit so, easier because my fat yeah. head is in the middle of Visual Studio. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a, I'm calling into the client and it's not, I'm waiting for the autocomplete and I'm not sure if I've um, busted code here. Right. You want to do, you're just doing a, a, what is it? Get trip async. Okay. So is that. Yep, and then ID dot value, right? Because it's the ID is, yeah. Is it is it capital V? Yep. You're not getting like the IntelliSense, huh? I'm not. So you're okay. done. I've still got to do the save bit. Uh -uh. Yeah, I don't even have to change because this is binding to a page model. And then if I look over in my details front end, it's just looking for that page, that uh, that details model, and it's going to look for a trip, and it's going to bind to the name and everything. So my scaffolding should still all work. I tell you, I tell uh -huh. you. All right. So now so, I'm going to I'm binding to yours, so I can see what what you're messing up. Okay. So now, right, I'm doing where'd it go? So on post. Um, oops, this should, this is edit, right? It shouldn't be put trip. It should be, I, I put these, oh no, no. We're posting back to the edit page. Whew. Okay. And then there's also a trip exists here. Um, all right. I, for people watching too, I, just for the experience, I, I know it's frustrating to be like, oh, here's a feature you can't use right now. But, but, um, what's cool with this is. Like when I've done pair programming before over video, it's okay, but there is a lag to it. Um, and, you know, different different styles of things like, hey, go over here. Oh, you already typed that. This is really cool because it's basically instant. Like as you're typing, I'm watching the code changes in real time. I oh mean, my it's, gosh, it's, yes. it's pretty neat, yeah. And and to be clear, um, we're, we're testing this, right? This is, yeah. right? This we're, is preview. 
this is preview. We're there are folks from the live share team in some of the chat rooms watching, and they're they're taking some notes, they're taking some feedback, and and they love hearing you folks in the chat room and your enthusiasm for the product, and that that encourages them. They love hearing that. So you know, let's let's keep that up. These they're doing a lot of hard work to make this make this really cool. So um, why am I not getting? So oh wait, wait, wait like a... there... aha, I know what it is. Okay. Uh, you... Let me take a question while you're doing this. Is sure, okay? go ahead. Uh, so Bilal said, I have a question. Not sure if someone asked this before. With the page model kind of model here, what's the role of the controller? Is it still needed? Um, so it's kind of an implied model. Uh, there actually, if you go in and you look at the source code for this in GitHub, all of this ASP.NET Core, all of it is completely in GitHub. So you can go and look at it. And it's actually built on top of the whole kind of routing and controller structure, but there is not a separate controller. Um, and as far as which method has an advantage over the other, page model versus controller, it really is a which feels better to you. It's not like one is faster. It's not like one is, you know, better for a lot of things. Although the idea with the page model is it it is a little bit more built to help you kind of do things the right way just by the way the code is organized. For instance, it's very easy with a with MVC to have a controller that accepts code that you, if you don't validate it correctly, could bind incorrectly to stuff. It's just, it's a little bit more kind of the pattern, you have to make sure you're doing things the right way. With Razor Pages, it's kind of architected more where it's like, just create some properties and bind directly to them and it's going to kind of make sure, it's going to kind of guide you towards writing smoother code. You know, gonna... yeah, there there is no separate controller that that we're not showing. It's this is all the code for it. I'm going to take care of the delete. Uh, what is this? Create real quick. Okay. Uh, this is I oh. API client. Do you want the um? I'll delete. Delete. I get all right. Delete? Yeah. All so right. let me open that one over well, here. Uh, and so I'm going to want to. Oh, you already got delete, huh? No, no, I got um, uh, okay. I got create. Right, let's see if I have the... Oh, I love seeing that. And I think... Um, oh, so look at that. Malachi says, great job, LifeShare people. Um, yeah, absolutely. And our friend our friend Seth Juarez was there. I'm curious. He hasn't, he's been quiet for a little bit, and I'm wondering what he's conjuring up. He's getting ready to... I think he just popped up to heckle us and then... To heckle. Just... You think so? Just that? Just a quick heckle and go away? I am going to want to... Oh, here... Seth, if you're out there, I would love to talk to you about doing some a little bit of machine learning on stream at some point. Let's see if he pops back into the chat room. And, so and our I... friend Caitlin might be out there saying, look at how Fritz is editing this together. Because she is a rock star when it comes to editing. I So one thing that's interesting here, I don't get the autocomplete immediately like it's something where i i, I can uh, you know yeah okay oh we don't have a delete method we in the client um no i thought i put a i thought i put a delete in there i see an add i see get i see get trips <gasps> I, see... I didn't put one in there all right i will take care of that right now in fact i just need to add <laughs> Look at this. I just need to add the API and then I'll go take care of it, right? Remove mm -hmm. trip async. This is nice because the, the way ID. you've got that. Yep. So now you can go and start using it. Remove trip async. While I implement it. This really is some mob programming. It's It's the future, man. Right. Do I do ID dot value again? Uh, yeah, because it's a it's a nullable there. Ah, uh, right. There we go. So I should be able to pin and have it follow you over there. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna say. Oh, I need to put the async on this. Uh, HTTP client dot. And actually, I should be able to just say delete. 
Right? No. Oh, delete async. I uh, didn't. Oh, yeah. And then the request URI, which is um, <laughs> uh, slash API oh. slash trips slash, and then it's the ID. And that should just work. Cool. All right. So I was finishing create. Um, oh, I need to know wait on this. And now create's done. All right. Let's see what I'm doing here. So it's cool. You know how 